Hey dudes, it's uh, it's that time once again where we unbox anime figures on stream. Noticing a little bit of damage to the packaging. This one kind of has a couple of scuffed corners, and the other has what looks like a. Is that a crease or a scratch? This one has a crease, it's not obvious how it was caused. Okay. First figure. The lighting is terrible, I apologize. Sanji. Again, as before, the camera focus isn't going to be very good, but here is the sticker proving its authenticity this time in gold with a 16 whatever that means So this one, <coughs> <coughs> sorry, bros. This one features a um, a second hand and a second face, which can be exchanged should you so desire. This tape is a little old, and it's kind of disintegrating as I try to remove it. Not very old, but, you know, enough to affect its removal. There is some marking left on the package. Unfortunately,
I'm sure that would be a fairly simple way to remove the leftover glue from the cardboard if you really wanted to do that. But as I'm sure you can tell by the fact I'm unboxing, I don't really have any concerns. In that area, as these are going to be displayed as intended, you might say. Some kind of leaflet features an image of the full set. Not all of the figures include one of these. This one obviously did. Second item seems to be I have no idea what this is can't read a single word of it. The figure itself, looking pretty badass. Oh, the tape is broken here. The others remained intact. I believe no, it's also broken here. Well, this could well have been tampered with. One side is already open. First time I've received a figure which ha <coughs> hasn't been sealed completely. Now the paint on the suit itself is not a simple black. It is on the boots or the shoes for the black leather effect, but the suit itself has a kind of metallic texture which gives it a sheen of sorts like many actual suits have.
So the seams are visible in the usual locations. Though... I can't find any... on, on the shoes themselves. Com so the seams are completely hidden on the shoes. Down each leg there is a small piece of detailing, um, like stitching, I suppose, and then the seam runs just next to it. It's fairly, fairly impressive. Definitely not the cleanest of seams, but still very, very high quality. You can't, you can't see them unless you look for them specifically, really. The face is okay, but I, I think I actually prefer this one. <laughs> you see, the default face is just Sanji looking you know, optimistic <laughs> and a little serious, perhaps. And the other face is just hearts for eyes and a gaping jaw. And he has a uh, cigarette, or whatever that is. <laughs> He's smoking right there. Uh, like in the mouth, which is pretty cool. In the default pose, it's in the hand. The cigarettes themselves are simply painted white. There's no additional detailing beyond that. I'm noticing something on one of the buttons on the suit here. Can't tell if it's damage or a misapplication of paint. Could even be intentional, I have no idea. <laughs> I'd very much doubt it. It looks... It looks like two of the buttons on the right side have been scuffed or something revealing a, a lower level of paint. And that could have something to do with the the thing being opened, potentially. Or it could have just happened in production. Something, something on the hand here, can't quite tell what that is. Anyway. Let's try. Switching. The head comes off really easily, and it looks incredibly disturbing without a head. So... <laughs> Jesus. I quite like this pose. I think I'll keep it for now. I 
his hair is also more messed up. Okay, I'm pretty pleased with that. Let's attach the base. That did not sound healthy. Let's try again. Okay, perfect. Really easy fitting this time. I think this could be one of the first in the collection where he's actually standing on his own name. tape here also looks slightly yellowed with age. This is going to be a difficult one. I'm still going to go from the top side. Very carefully. Okay. No problem.
small scratch here. But this is pretty badass. The paintwork is a little bit off around the waist where it transitions from the skin tone to the to the tone of the the uh, whatever that is. Yeah, same with the weapon handle. Everything else seems fine. There's a few small drops of green on the skin in a couple of places. The seams. Yeah. Yeah. Quite nice. Perhaps even a bit better than the previous one, than the seams on the Sanji figure. What is this down here? Looks like a piece of dried black paint or something left there. Get rid of that. Nice. Show the camera. Okay, there's a very fragile detail there. That's going to need to be handled with caution. Small tassel from the uh, sheath to one of the weapons. And of course, the swords. Uh, but what I'm going to have to do now is find out exactly which way he holds these two. So let's find some images. Of Zorro. Okay, there's a few to cross-reference. This one in the right hand, this one in the left. That appears to be correct. This one's a bit loose, unfortunately. It could... Oh. Perhaps by twisting it like so, I've given it some... St 
sturdiness. Just going to check how they have these things positioned on the artwork. Exactly. So it's more of a vertical position for this one, but that does cause it to to move quite easily. I'm sure it's going to be fine. Oh, wait, the way they placed it is more like... Maybe the relaxed grip uh, on the left hand is a intended feature. <laughs> okay. Adding the base. Probably going to lose the sword during this process. Okay, the feet don't seem to match <laughs> to the uh, areas, the, uh, the pegs. go. Simple enough. Pretty sweet. Two new additions to the collection. Did this come with any documentation? There is something. And it explains how to position the swords. What is this? Small piece of plastic. Okay, not sure why that's in there. All good though. And place this back into the case. very pleased with these two. I've been overwhelmingly impressed with the whole collection so far. Any damages or anything of that nature is kind of negligible when faced with how badass these figures actually are. That's everything I've got to unbox today, and it's probably going to be quite some time before I have 
anything else to add to the collection, so don't expect any more unboxing streams anytime soon. But I'm sure there'll be there'll be something eventually. Just pulled up the webcam here to to better see these things. The focus is is an issue here because the autofocus is disabled due to the fact that it likes to just fuck around and focus at the most inappropriate times and stuff. So, I'm going to go ahead and find a suitable location for these in the display case.